LFP healer, please someone, please help. Big heals, help. There's no healer. Rip party. Hi, Saviors. GH here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys and gals my top 7 healer support build in Tree of Savior. Yes, I'm gonna be going through the 7 cleric builds that I've been testing lately to help bring more healers in the game. We're gonna start with the least healer support build that I favor. Then we're gonna go all the way to the top. And with that said, here is my top 7 healer support build in Tree of Savior. Let's do this! Coming in at lucky number 7, it's Paladin, Dev, and Druid. This build takes the number 7 spot because of the build's ability to provide adequate healing with the help of Druid and damage buffing support with the help of Paladin. Now, why is there a Dev here? The main purpose of Dev in this build is cooldown reduction. With the help of Dev cooldown reduction statue, Druid's healing grass can always be up and Paladin's damage buff can also be up most of the times. Another good thing about this build is it can also perform as a decent DPS build, especially on challenge mode. Now the build that takes the number 6 spot is Paladin, Priest, and Pardoner. This is at number 6 because of its moderate healing capability with jacked up buffing capability. Now at this point, you probably already know what Paladin does, which is damage buffer with slight heals. And for the next class on this build, which is Priest, what it contributes in this build is an amazing backup mass heal, then a myriad of buffs that will boost defense, gives you additional damage, then a buff that protects you from death every 2 minutes. And let's not forget Turn Undead. This instantly kills demons and mutants for a certain chance. Then lastly, Pardoner. This is a decent backup healer that also provides more magic defense. And I guess I should mention, this is the build that can craft turn undead scrolls. Remember that. This is a very well-rounded build, but requires a bit of experience to be an effective healer. And now at number 5, it's Priest. Pardoner and Plague Doctor. This build is good for boss fighting. This gives superb defensive buffs for your party members with the use of Priest and Pardoner. And they're also decent healers as I've said. Now what makes it different from the last build is Plague Doctor. This is the class you take if you want mobility buff, moderate heals, and a way to deal with the buffs. But for me, I mainly take it for the mobility buff because if you can move really fast, it also means you can move away from danger faster. Now the build that takes the number 4 spot is Oracle, Dev, and Kabbalist. Now this is the build that most people want for challenge mode. Because number 1, Kabbalist is the best healer in the cleric class 3. Number 2, Oracle, Divine Might gives plus 1 level to all abilities, plus Oracle is also a good damage buffer. Then we have Dev for cooldown reduction. Now, let me clarify why Kabbalist is the best healer in game right now. June 2020, the game got updated and they reworked Kabbalist that turned it into the go-to class for healing. Because now, Ainsoft, the spell that increases maximum HP for 40 seconds, can also heal. And not just that, another one of its skill called Nahash can also heal party members when they're attacking inside the magic circle. And we're not done yet. There's also Tree of Sephiroth, it can also heal and reduce damage taken by 20%. And that's Oracle, Dev, and Kabbalist. If you always wanna feel wanted by people, this is the build to get. Okay, now for our top 3, and it's Druid, Dev, and Miko. Now this one takes the number 3 spot because aside from its adequate heal, courtesy of Cortas Mata, you can also be a good source of DPS because Druid is not just a healing grass class, it can also buff itself to get more damage output. 
Then we have the ebb, not just a source of cooldown reduction, it's also your main way to deal damage. Then lastly, Miko. This buffs and prolongs your statues, and aside that, it's also a damage buffer with the use of Omnikuji and Kagura. So if you want to heal and also provide damage, this is the build for you. And now for our number 2 build, and it's Druid, Dev, and Kabales. Now why GH? Is this your number 2 su healer support build? It's because this is the easiest and most surefire way to spam heal your teammates so that they don't die. I actually call this the heal spammer build. This is what people want, right? Heals, this provides it at its best. This is the build I recommend for beginners. If you want to heal for your friends, you can start learning with this build. And now, this is the number one healer support build. I present you Priest, Dev, and Kabbalist. Now, the question is probably boiling in your mind right now. Why this? It's because this build have the balance of enough healing and support capabilities. Priest provide the buffs, death protection, and backup heals. Then DM for the cooldown reduction. And Kabbalist to make sure there's a reliable heal. If you reach the point that you understand how to heal with Kabbalist, try this build out. Plus, this build is amazing for dimensional collapse point. And that's it guys, that's my top 7 healer builds of June 2020. If you have any questions, just comment down below and hit the like button if you like it. Then there's the share button right there, share it to your friends, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one.